Hey everyone, this is Ms. Moffat from Across the Litiverse, and I've got some bookish news that I'm terribly excited about. I get most of my book news from the Twitterverse, and I've been collecting some gems to share with you. If you follow me on Twitter, you likely know about a few of these based on my retweets, but I am fit to burst if I don't tell more people, so let's go. First off is His Own Voice by the late Jeff Buckley. In high school, I was that girl who carried Jeff Buckley CDs in her Discman all the time. And yes, I'm old enough to have owned a Discman. His Own Voice is an estate-authorized release of Jeff Buckley's journals, and it will collect letters, notes, and lyric sheets in addition to unseen photos from his personal archive. Admittedly, I'm a little mixed about this one. I own basically all the music his estate released after he died, but journals are just so private, you know? I might be projecting my own discomfort at the idea of other people reading my journals, to be fair. The collection is due to hit shelves in 2019 to coincide with the 25th anniversary of Grace, so I have some time to think this one over. Next is Believe Me, a memoir of love, death, and jazz chickens by Eddie Izzard. I am actually counting down to June 13th, I'm not even joking. 34 more days, you guys! My lady friend Chantelle first introduced me to Eddie Izzard's surreal, whip-smart stand-up, also back in high school and I was very pleased to surprise her with news of his memoir. And I'm impressively curious about those jazz chickens, not gonna lie. Then there's The Book of Dust by Philip Pullman. Alright, I know this is oldish news for book nerds, but I am pumped nonetheless. The Book of Dust is book one in a new trilogy that revisits the world of his dark materials. It's not a prequel and it's not a sequel, but it is an equal to quote Pullman himself. The first book in the new series takes place before Lyra's original adventures, and books two and three take place after Lyra's in adult. I reread his dark materials and the spin-off stories last year after I'd heard there was a BBC adaptation in the works and my timing couldn't be better. The Book of Dust comes out on October 19th. Next is a new story arc in Francesco Francavilla's Black Beetle series. I adore Francavilla's pulp art and there's a reason he's the go-to for jaw-dropping, gorgeous variant covers. Black Beetle is a masked vigilante operating in a loosely sci-fi landscape in the 1940s era. It's staged as a radio play set to images and that's probably the best description out there. I own No Way Out, a four-issue miniseries that came out in 2013, so the idea of any new Black Beetle content is entirely thrilling. Apparently Dark Horse is collecting Care Book, which is a five-part miniseries that was published in Dark Horse Presents number 28-32. It's slated for September 6th, but Dark Horse is notorious for pushing their pub dates back, so I'm trying not to get too excited, but oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And there's Obsidia, the third book in the Illuminae series. We're not getting this one until March 2018. I'm equal parts relieved that we have a pub date and distressed that it's basically a year away. I do believe I said in a previous video that I did not want to wait for the third book and now I am just having to deal with it. I read Illuminae and Gemina just far too quickly but I couldn't help it, they were so engaging. This is why I usually wait till all the books in a series are out before I read it. And in bookish news, HBO is adapting Fahrenheit 451 and it will star Michael B. Jordan as Guy Montag. I will always support my man Ray Bradbury and I'm curious to see how they represent the technology in this series, as nerdy as that sounds. Just the 360 television and the iconic mechanical hound, I'm just getting chills thinking about how awesome Awesome this could be. And last, I heard about a literary bar in Toronto that I didn't even know existed. It's called Famous Last Words, and their drink list is actually a book with chapters and everything, and they've got a Scrabble tile bar. The drinks are all named after modern books, so you can get a great drink and some reading recommendations too. Wait, why am I still sitting here? There are books to be had. As always, thank you for watching, and make sure to subscribe for more great videos from across the Litiverse. On that note, signing off.